G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you my cementing farm. Uh, yeah, cementing paste farm. I did have a look on YouTube for different ways to set it up and didn't really find much, so I thought I'd go ahead and play around with a few things myself and see if I could come up with something that kind of worked practically for me. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm playing Ark Official and Ascended and I play by myself. So if you are a solo player, my videos could be for you. So hit that like button and consider subscribing. I'm going to be showing you stuff that, you know, you can do yourself as a single player, but not limited, obviously. If you were in a tribe, these things will come in handy as well. So firstly, let's show you the actual setup that I did settle on. We have this, uh, let me just close this door, I've got a good egg out, I want someone to run in and grab it. Alright, so this is the setup that I ended up on and it tends to work really well because uh, it needs a few more snails or Akatina I should say. So Akatina is what you need and I'll just show you if you get close to them, they're all in cages, so these wooden cages are pretty uh, simple. You just build them, pop them next to each other, chuck the Akatina in and close the door. But we'll call them snails just so I don't get tongue-tied. So here we go, we've got our first one here. If you go into its inventory, you can see that it's producing the Akatina paste, which is just cementing paste, as well as some organic polymer, which I tend to leave in them. It seems to last longer, so that's a little tip there too. Uh, make sure you do leave them in there. Now, um, you get 100 from one of these these guys I, I check them semi semi regular I think it's 100 every 45 minutes uh, I could be wrong there but um, I don't tend to check them all the time being a single player but as you can see um, if you get the right angle it's dragging it out and yeah you just go along and from one to the other and I've got to fill a few more cages I want to get all these cages full so if I do this every now and then or I run out you can just zip along now I've got this ramp system so I've got uh, just ceilings and you can see I have to sort of working along this seems to work really well you can just kind of walk along this without falling off and just position yourself to you know grab the cementing paste so I've got to uh, grab a few more of these guys so firstly where do we get these I'll show you the best location I think or the safest location for getting these guys they are found predominantly in the swamp but they also can be found in the central wood redlands forest, uh, kind of like in this kind of area mostly, but they are found throughout the redlands, wood, the redwoods, uh, but swamp areas. Now swamps can be pretty uh, hazardous. They're very hard to see what's coming in a swamp. So you can get snakes sneaking up on you and you know, uh, it's the last thing you want to do is be off your mount and get bitten by a snake and you're pretty much, you know, done for probably. So uh, to get these guys, they've got a pretty sweet tooth. So you're going to need a sweet cake. Um, I'll show you some of them. I've got some of them in here. So I'll grab some of these out. Now the vegetable cake, the sweet vegetable cakes, you do need honey. Now if you don't have hives like this, I've probably got way too many hives overkill here. I've got a video that shows you the, uh, well it is the easiest, no one's been able to show me an easier way of getting beehives and um, so check that video out, it's basically on the island, The in both the old version and uh, the new version of Ark, you, it's the simplest way of getting these bees for sure and as you can see I didn't have to break any hives open to get all these so it was super easy so make sure you get some honey because you are going to need that and I'll show you, uh, let's go in here, you can chemistry bench um, no sorry we want the <laughs> this one okay so we're going to go into vegetables because the vegetable sweet cake and you can see here we're going to need giant bee honey for every one we're going to need two giant bee honey and then you're going to need the fiber long grass uh, you know the carrot uh, the corn Sava root potatoes <laughs> uh, and you're going to need sap so sap if you don't have sap uh, if you ask around on your server if you don't have a sap tree set up uh, people will you know as you can see I've got heaps and I've got sap uh, trees set up as well I'm pretty happy to give it to people if they need it but you are going to need the sap for this particular uh, sweet vegetable cake so just bear that in mind all right so that's how you make it so the sap is probably one of the harder ones to get and the honey I have a video on the honey so check that out all right we're going to go and uh, tame one I'm going to show you what levels are the best ones to tame and uh, that's what I think is the safest location. So now if you don't have yourself a Barry, 
actually. Where is my berry? There he is. I've got a couple, but this one is my favorite at the moment. These guys are, well, I by far the, my favorite mount. They get around everywhere. I can take on Rexes. Uh, the only thing I've really never taken on is a Giga um, on this island. So everything else I've pretty much taken on and beaten with this guy. So, um, but he, he is quite high level. He's not maxed out. Like even his damage isn't that great really. I mean, compared to his level, uh, what is he? He's got health is you know, just under 12,000 and damage is 520. So, which is enough to take on it's about everything but you can get better so i'm am breeding some at the moment to try and get a better um, line of these guys but let's head on over here to the redwoods now the redwoods is where i think is going to be the safest location so we'll um he head up here and i'll show you the location what level are you i'm after a no very low level I'm after a high level male at the moment all right we're going to head this way I realize my berry's full of meat. I should have unloaded all that. All right, we're going to head up. I think this little area up here, this little hilly node area, is probably one of the safest locations to get these snails because you can kind of keep an eye out on... The, the worst thing you want is snakes. Now, you want to get rid of all the snakes. Well, first, we've got to make sure that there are some snails around here. So come down here we'll just get rid of this guy and oh, we've got these guys as well so, so you're gonna have to clear the area as you can see like lots of snakes and, and other stuff Alright, let's clear a bit of space. Alright, now we've got to have a look around. We usually get one or two around this area. And this be the one time that there aren't any here. It'd be my luck, wouldn't it? No. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to have to... Maybe there was too many snakes around and probably chomped on all of them. Come down a little bit further. All right, this one over here. All right, okay, so he is a level uh, 20. All right, so he's too low. So now you'd think the levels uh, wouldn't matter, but they actually do matter. Uh, and I'll show you why when we go back to my base. I'm just gonna, my battery's running really slow. So I'm gonna just dump some stuff safely over here I'm just gonna dump some of this meat and get some of this meat later in fact I'll just get rid of it all all right so we're gonna head on uh so this little area here I'll show you on the map where we are we're in the red woods just in this kind of area here which is uh I won't give you the exact location because it, it's gonna be a kind of across this bottom section here we're going to be going across here now i like this area because you can kind of keep an it's quite open there isn't a lot of bush in here now i'm playing on pc and i've turned off the grass setting so it is usually a little bit i'll turn it back on to show you guys um see what it looks like in here with grass so that could be the here we go well, let's put it back to one Right, so you can see what it's like with the grass and it can be a little bit more difficult to find these guys. So if you're on PC um, and you, you do like playing like this, go for it. But me, I think it's, um, it's just too distracting. So I use this one. It's grass dot size scale zero, space zero, and then just hit enter. And it just clears the forest floor for you. All right, here's another one. Um, now, this looks like He's 115, so that's a level that's pretty good. He's been, obviously, taking on a snake by the looks because he's gone back into his shell. All right, here he comes. He's coming back out. All right, so you can see there's nothing around. We want to make sure that we've got a little bit of space. And if you can, use darts um, because they are less likely to kill the snail. 
we can use a this guy and you want to eat him in the soft part and it only usually takes a couple of shots here we go he's unconscious so 115 so uh we are going to pop some sweet cakes in here now they got very high uh torpidity so their torpidity goes down really quick so you're gonna need to have some of this on you so narcotic because if you watch the timing is uh on standard at the moment make sure you stay on your mount so you can see what's coming around you but the torpidity will go down quicker than the taming on these little guys so you're gonna have to hang around now you are in the redwood forest so bear that in mind snakes are probably your worst encounter in this little area because they come out of the swamp down the bottom there um and you know you've got other things here but if you've got yourself a, a mount like the berry or whatever the case may be that's going to keep you safe just stay on it you can use if you can find two of these guys close together you could probably keep an eye on two of them um so if you did find another one, you know, kind of up here or something, you could probably take out another one. You want to stay close by because of that torpidity and you don't want any snakes, you know, taking your, your snail because you worked hard to get not only those sweet vegetable cakes, they're probably the hardest thing to actually make. So you don't want to lose them uh, through a death of a snail. And just check down here. Sometimes there's snails in this little section here. Mine uses a good little fishing spot to let's check one of my videos out and doesn't look like there's any snails down here today so we'll just wander back up now look I'll, i won't bore you i'll we'll skip through and i'll jump to the end where we have tamed him but just as i said you can see the torpid is going down quite fast so make sure you are using the narcotics and just stick around and make sure he's good to go. All right, we'll be back in a second. Well, I will be, and for you will be instantaneous, and we'll take this guy back to our base, and I'll show you why the higher uh, snails are better than the lower ones. Yes, they may be quicker to tame, but in the long run, trust me, you're going to save yourself a lot of effort, a lot of pain if you get a higher level snail. All right, we'll see you in a second. All right, I think we're getting pretty close now, guys. Um, just so you guys know, I've had to use... Well, I didn't have to use all of it, actually. I had 100 narcotics on me, and that's 70 worth. I probably went a little overkill at the end there, as you can see. The pink band is almost full, but you can see it comes down pretty quick, so I didn't want to take any chances, and I've been kind of, like, just staying in the area and... Um, Actually doing getting some fish down the bottom there there's a and here we go all right so we have our uh, snail and we'll just uh, actually I won't um... let's have a look we had 20 so we used 15 of the sweet cakes to tame this guy and he's now 172 which is a really good now you can pick them up um, or you can use a, a cryopod if you wanted to as well. So um, they can be cryopodded as well. So uh, let's take him back. And I'm going to show you why the higher level is the better option. And I'm also going to link the wiki down below. For those who don't know, uh, use the ARC wiki because um, it'll tell you for each level, how many sweet vegetable cakes you're going to need. Also, you know, how many uh, narcotics you're going to need to bring with you, etc. So that's quite handy. Um, if you're not using your wiki, you definitely need to, because I use it for just about every dinosaur that I tame uh, to see what I need, uh, you know, kibble, etc, etc. Um, okay, so we're going to come back to the base, and I'm going to pop him into one of the cages. We'll show you how that works as well. But I'm going to show you why this level is the best level. Um, all right, there we go. Let's kind of close this door. People wandering in. Okay, so we'll pop him. Uh, we'll pop him in this one here. Now you can try and you know throw the cryopod in there. Yeah, but in this case, that didn't work. So, so we um, we'll pick him up and we'll just get close. 
chuck him in and close the door. All right, so now you can see most of my guys are high-ish. Now, we've got this guy over here is 69, so, and I did lose one. So he's our lowest level one. Now, I'll show you why we don't want lower level ones. Uh, well, you can see his food here. So these guys, you're going to need to keep them alive. And the only thing they eat are these damn cakes. So you want to feed them as little, uh, not as little as possible, uh, as a least amount of times as you can. So you want to like top them up. So I suggest you put your points into food, everything into food. So, and then when you fill these guys up, so like if you pop the vegetable cake in there, you can see uh, his health will decline rapidly if he runs out of food. Uh, but if you put it into health, then the food's just going to run out quicker. And this is the thing that you're going to have to keep an eye on. So, um, so that he just took one just as I came out. So he took one then, and that brought him up about a quarter of the way. So he's going to need probably almost all of those. Now, the, the, I'll find a high level one for you. Um, well, the one with this, this one here, he's 253. And now you can see his food, uh, well, it's at nearly 5,000. So, so once I, oh yes, I'm going to have to feed him a lot more, but once he's full, that, that bar's going to go down a lot slower. So I don't have to worry about him as much. So I think, definitely think it's worth taming higher level ones. I lost a couple of small ones when I was testing this because I got a couple of tens in here. They were quicker to tame and I only need a few cakes to tame them. But uh, in the end, I think definitely the higher level is worth your time if you're willing to put it in. So definitely do that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, I think, guys. I, I think I've covered everything. So sweet vegetable cakes. Uh, put your points into the food on these guys and use this cage system if you like. You can put them in a pen. They kind of wander around all over the place, though. They actually escape as well, I've noticed. So this is the only thing that I've managed to keep 99% of the time them in. Sometimes they do escape. I've had one, uh, I think, one time in the last few weeks escape so so I'm gonna fill this up I've got uh, a nice wall here and as you can see I've got uh, six seven eight along the bottom eight so eight sixteen if I put another row in 24 that gives me 2400 a uh, paste at any one time when they're full if I um, need it in a hurry who I want to randomly collect start collecting it and I start collecting this stuff early too guys you may not need it straight away, but, you know, find a, a safe a vault and a put it in there and get that done. So, guys, if this was helpful in any way, uh, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. And if you're subscribing, please, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Uh, any comments, whack them below. If you've got anything that I missed, whack it below as well. And that way we can help everyone out in the art community. Thanks again. Bye, guys.